Uh, you might run into the moon. Oh, no, 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 and that was fun. That was <laughs> fun. No, no, no. We didn't just break the fabric of space time. We broke reality itself. Yeah. Because it didn't know how to handle, I guess, a thing being in both before and after. Yeah. Which I I think it's kind of silly because like I don't think. I, it definitely bends some ideas about reality, but I don't think it should have broke it. But I mean, what 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 will I know? <laughs> what what will I fucking know? Apparently. So this time, I think Dylan's uh, going to Giant's Deep to finally do the the, the well, statue island. Yeah. So this is the statue workshop or whatever is basically the last thing you can do in Giant's Deep uh, with your current set of knowledge anyway. Mm. We actually can get into it currently. Yeah, I, so... Because I remember there was the, the, the thing with the elevator, and then I wasn't entirely sure where to go from there. Um, well, you guys were on top of it, and you're looking down through it. Uh-huh. Uh, and I was trying to let you guys figure out how to get into it yourself, but you guys kind of were uh-huh. struggling. And so I had to point out, hey, guess what? There's water at the bottom. So, oh, by the way, your, your ship can act as like a submarine. You can actually control your ship inside the water, yeah. Yaro, would you kindly step back to so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whether whoever is closest in whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes is open? That tells us that the statue has paired with Daz. No matter where he is in our, in the star system, Daz's statue records his memories and sends them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting works about the flocks. He has done himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have the first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage for prototype. Each statue will send a single nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Is that what the uh Is that what the, the little like triangle scroll thingies are that we see? No, those are just text documents basically. Uh, no, I mean like the the, the or, excuse me the, the little like discs that allow us to like see other places in the system. No, this is this is talking about memories. This is basically explaining our our time abilities. Oh, all right. Kind of storage unit with an Ash Twin. Yes, we heard right. of the Ash Twin project before. Right. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask with a statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding nomai. Cool. Okay. And that's the mask that we see each time we die. Ah. Also, you want to look at that mural. I think looking at the mural, the, the one, no, behind the, it. That the, mural. The, yeah. I don't know if the, okay, no ship log. But, but that's basically a visual representation of how it works. No lie. Memories gets into a statue, which gets sent to the mask, which gets sent back to the no lie. Interesting. So that means that we also have a pairing mask thing in the uh, Ashwin projects. Yes, yes we do. And it, I'm assuming the time loop happens because it's replanting those memories back into us. Yep. Every time the Ashtwin project is subsequently destroyed and then recreated with the loop. Correct. Weird. I've installed the mask inside Ashtwin project blocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. <laughs> It's comforting to know statues will not pair until, until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, we only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statue will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? Well, if anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Hmm. I haven't thought of that, but a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Yikes. So, is, is, that, is that it? Nope. Um, there's a, another platform up there, as you can see. Oh, who got lag? Right. This is the mask that they're talking about inside Ashton Project. Oh. As you can see, there are three activated one for us, one, one for Davro, and then another from, I guess. Daz? Question mark? Well, 
once a Nomai dies, the mass becomes deactivated. As you can see, there's more deactivated mass than activated. Oh, can they be reactivated? The only way to activate them is if there's a pair, if someone paired with a statue. Ah. Or, in the case of equipment. Or, in, well, in the case of equipment failure basically just means that, that, that well, don't go down there yet. Um, uh, equipment failure just means that it'll activate regardless, so that way they can basically go back in time and fix the problem before it breaks. Uh, okay. Uh, you might as well just put that down somewhere. Um, it's not completely obvious how to get up there, so I'll just tell you. Or, actually, did you already figure it out? Okay. I thought you might have. Do I have to use... Is there gonna be... Is Tony gonna pick up the fucking island and I'm about to use that to get over there? Uh, I would recommend getting inside the tornado shelter. Because... The tornado's coming. You can hear it. Yeah. Now quickly get into the next one. You're in space, so fly. Now quickly. And now you're in this tornado shelter. When it falls back down, you'll be okay. And up here. <laughs> also ow. Yeah. Oops. Congratulations, you're now on this platform. There you go. <laughs> I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if I were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence? I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? So I suppose... Suppose that time is rewritten. I believe this is different from the, different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. Isn't the end result identical in either case? Ah, uh, I would argue no. Because if you're receiving memories from the future, then that means that those are events that are going to play out. Whereas this is sending your supposed essence back in time to be able to yeah. either repeat things endlessly in that same sort of manner or change things in such a manner that they no longer follow that particular timeline, thus changing your memories to begin with. Isn't that technically the same, though? Again, I would argue, no, that they're two separate actions. It's kind of like Steinsgate, right? Where he sent his memories back to his past self in order to change the world line. Yeah, and I, I would argue it's kind of like the idea of, like, Steins Gate versus Dandy. Uh, I guess. That's how I see it, anyway. Very philosophical questions. Ooh. Oh, yeah, congratulations. You beat Giant Feet for the time being. No. Oh. Mass spoilers for Steins Gate. Oh, I'm. Um, uh. Not that, I was, not that I would necessarily get around to watching it, but. More than enough for those in the audience. And honestly, it's not that big of a spoiler. It's really not. It's kind of central to the. Plot. <laughs> you might, yeah, I, I was going to say, you might want to jump in the water because of the high gravity. I would think, or I thought that would be explosion, I guess not. No, it, it happens relatively early on that he, he's a little like, ah, oh, I gotta go back. Oh, okay. And it's not, like, back to the future, you know, like, with that, but it's... Okay. The Nomai successfully re re um, reproduced a dead world anomaly first observed in the white hole station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. No one discovered that it could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp course. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22 ne uh, negative time interval was possible. They concluded that it would require new technology to produce that necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Astron was proposed as a location for this project. And this exact 22 minute interval is somehow interconnected with the time loop we find ourselves in. Yes. In essence, the understanding I have of everything right now is that we sort of are the Ash Twin Project. In a sense. It, it, more so through accident than through intention, but... Yeah. It, in a sense. Uh, the central chamber to the last twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct new technology capable of producing a 20 minute negative time control on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue was transmitted into a core or spawning storage unit within Ash Twin. Oh, there's still more to do on Gabbro's Island, as you can see, with that asterisk. Hmm. So, I guess that just means talk to Gabbro again. 
now that you learn more. So, yeah. with all this in mind, that also means that begs the question: Did the Ashtoy project succeed or fail? Because the statues and everything activate in either case, right? Yes. So that's a good question, isn't it? Is it one we actually can answer playing the game? I would assume so. Well, I'm asking you because you no. I, I'm just asking if it is something we can't answer. I almost want to say yes. fail because you don't see shit changing rapidly. Uh, that's not ever that. That's a piece of dark ramble. Yes. Yeah. Do I get anything when I shoot anything in there? Uh, we already went in there. Yeah. What is that? That's Gakro's ship. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of dark there in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. They don't really dock, it's kind of oh, there. there. Uh, nope, that radio is not going to pick it up. Yeah, it's going to pick it up. I need to pick up. I just got home space. Uh, uh, I will soon fall out. Yeah. There, there it is. Or, no, that's uh. That's I'm pretty sure that's Gabbers Island. Uh, well, I oh, that there. is. I meant the other things floating nearby. Yeah, that's the orbital probe station. Yeah. But we we went to. We did that before we did anything else on the actual planet. Yeah. Is there anything else we could do with that right now? Not right now. There was that one part that went missing, but right. We can't do anything about that. Yeah. Currently. And... Oh, 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 oh. You realize you can press X for landing mode. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Very good. I hate to let it play this game in a while. Yeah, don't worry. And it's also a conversation, right? That the time is paused so we can. Yeah. Alright, hey, buddy. It's a good thing I never get bored of rain, huh? Uh, I found something, I guess. Just tell them everything that you found. Yeah. You see inside the statue island. So then I created those hits that you do for Normans, huh? Yeah, I can see the Normans doing that. Not sure what for. Seems like their sort of thing. You think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember the one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be the memory friend. Hello. Again. Again. I found something. Uh, so far what happened to the Oracle program in. I think we already actually talked to them about this. After the uh, start having each turn loop, for real. Did you figure out why? Uh, I mean, both. Yeah. Too much power. It's kind of scary how that much that thing kind of sounds like, like Sleet of Felt Power would do. Pretty surprised that all my built something like that that actually broke. Turn to think of it though, broke might not be the wrong word, because it looks like the old program is still, is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Yeah, it's not really broke. It's not also exactly necessarily a failure either, because it successfully launches. Yeah. What if the Nomite die at the beginning of each loop? Uh, I'll tell you straight up that it's actually, uh, it's been a long time since, because you see the skeletons all around. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's been a while since the Nomite Whatever happened that caused them to go, I guess, extinct, happened incredibly quickly. Mm. But, I mean, obviously, since you have the statue, or the skeletons are then just kind of existing and just being around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what exactly caused it? I mean, we can find out if you want. That could be the next thing we do, if you want me to tell you where to go for that. Uh, well, maybe? Uh, I still want to try and do everything I can to discover the rest of Edward's Twin. Okay. There's a no more still alive, is there? I won't say anything. There's no more still alive. Well, I mean, that would be the implication, considering that third thing is still active. And we only know of two. One for us, and one for Gabbro. Right. Uh, there's a third thing, and I found something, by the way. Yeah. Uh, uh, I found your points quick. Oh, actually, we already read this. Uh, all it did was actually add the connections. It didn't really add any thing. Oh, wait. What's that? Gabbro says there's a strong current being the surface that, oh, the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. That, that's it. I guess so. No one in the construction yard saw something sink beneath it. Uh, which they previously thought was impossible. Phone Spark found a way to reach the core of Giant's Deep. But he so, won't tell us. Yeah. Why? Because he, you know, he wants us to figure out on our own. You know, the power yes. of our own logical understanding. Like the, the probe tracking module, which is sort of... That's the thing that's missing. Right. Uh, you might run into the moon. Oh! 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 
okay. I can't believe I fucked and fucked that. Uh, I don't think you're close enough to the plan for your landing here. Yeah, I'll take it over there. Uh, in fact... I think you're getting further away from it. Yeah. Jeez. I can't believe that was signed in the moon. I burned. Another moon. Yeah, the uh, Brittle Hollows moon. Which, have we been there and done the thing yeah. done yet? Yeah, we did. Okay. That, that's awesome. Everything we can explore there has already been explored. I thought so. I just want to double check. So there's the uh, quantum tower right there, actually. It's hanging upside down. Or is that it? Or Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a black hole. No, I'm not talking about the black hole. I'm talking about the tower. Unless it already fell into the black hole. I might be wrong. No, I think that's it. Maybe. It's hard to tell when it's black and white. Yeah. This has a lighter gravity. Yes. Not by much, but a little bit. Slightly lighter. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna check around here. I have no idea what's supposed to go though. There. Well, let's see. What haven't you explored here yet? Probably a lot. I don't think you guys have really done much in the hanging city. Um, not much, because there's there's still that other that thing in the. Behind all the fucking um, uh, spike plants, or is that that's on the uh, that's on Ashland? Oh. Uh, I'm trying to remember what. There Actually, is. it might be better for me just to you just go to White Hole Station and warp back. Yes. Oh, there's the Quantum Tower. That's the. Careful, I'll slam your head into it. Yeah, I don't want to bonk and die. Yeah. You know, sometimes when I play this game, uh, by the way, uh, when I played it for the first time, I didn't get the meditate thing. So I had to figure out how to kill myself whenever I wanted to reset the loop. And so, because I didn't have a meditate thing, um, whenever I would fall into the black hole and like the loop was about to end anyway, I would just slam myself into the white hole station just to get it over with. Yeah. So this whole loop got set off, or at least we're aware of the loop and everything, because we looked into the statue. Yes. Do you think it seems a little convenient that the uh, Wait. statue opened up its eye to us, of all people? I think it's just because we happen to be the closest to it when the 22 minute mark was like activating. How does it actually? Here's that little safe. And it's somewhere else. Oh, no, it's, it's outside the tag. You know what? If the loop's gonna happen anyway. I mean, alright. Uh, there's that. There's one more thing you can explore on uh, Ember Twin. And that's the Anglerfish thing. Right. Which I'm still trying to do. Once yeah. And then I gotta get that really fucking quick. Right? So, yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go like now if you wanna do that. Now we can finally read what this writing says. Whoever it was, we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. And Pi says we only fish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold and they're it. The rest of us still wear it for the scientific accuracy and to get the game working. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall. When the anglerfish is go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. The last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The other anglerfish goes to the new anglerfish. The blindfold becomes a little fish. Okay, is that it? Yes. And do you realize why this is important? Uh, it's because they're blind, and so that means that theoretically, if you don't have any lights on or anything, you know, might take making terribly large amount of noise, you should be able to sneak past him a little bit. That explains why he was able to get past him so easily. It's because he was moving so slowly. Which... He wasn't making any noise. The rat's the reason they didn't attack him. Normally, when you first go in there, you're immediately attacked and you don't know how to deal with it. This is where it becomes a play where you learn, oh, they're blind. They won't see me. I just have to be quiet. Gotcha. Which, ironically, because Nick told me that there was danger, I... 
I thought because of some other factor that I needed to move so late, I didn't think it would be because I needed to make noise, so I just got lucky, I guess. Yeah. You got extremely lucky. <laughs> but also, geez. And that's on a dark frame, right? Yeah. Also, there's more. And you can see that elevator. Oh, or whatever you call it. So, I'm guessing the closer you get to them, the more people that will be attacking you because of the sound thing, too. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, the platforms. They're right there. They're, yeah, they're. Oh, I. Angle for study. Uh, visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the angle fish in their thermal. We don't believe it originated from this planet. This angle fish's digestion suggests death by starvation. Okay. All right, while I was here making sketches of the angle fish, I saw the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates some research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted it's never too early to appreciate biology. A lot of growth protruding from its head is by luminescent. Perhaps it is used this growth to attract prey a lure. Is that it? Yep. No longer? No. Alright. And, then... and that actually should be everything you can do for the time being on Emperor Since it's still early in the loop, if I can make a. Well, I'll let you do whatever you want. Well, I mean, I'll listen to your suggestion if you have one, but... I was going to say there's something you can do on Ash Twin early in the loop. Right. Is that what you can't do otherwise? Yes. Well, I mean, technically... Technically, you think it would be a way to cheese it? I'm assuming I can, mm -hmm. uh... Um, figure out the subsurface energy reading thing, right? Oh. The other, like, major bit about the interloper, right? Can I do that right now, or no? Ah, uh, check the map real quick. Not where it is. Where do I need to be for that to... It's not entirely obvious. I'll give you a hint. Um, you notice how the comet is cased with ice? Yeah. Oh. So I gotta wait for it to be closer to the sun. Yes. Which is toward the end of the loop. Uh, technically no. It, it goes around the sun multiple times. It does? Yes. Oh. So I just gotta wait. Yeah, pretty much. And then it, what, recases the ice when it goes back out? Or? Yes. <sighs> oh, the, the sun. The sun. You... Oh, right. Yeah, there it so is. I'm, it's I'm, open. I can just you just hop in. Uh, hop down. Go down. Go down. You want to go down? You want to go down? I'm trying. It won't. Oh, user, user. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I forgot about the sun's gravity. Okay. Uh, just down. Yeah. Uh, careful, careful with the ghost rider. You might want to equip your camera. <laughs> just like have it ready. Definitely want to go back. This way or yeah. Just follow the path. There's one hole we can go right through. There should be some stuff to. Yeah, there's a ship log. Or not a ship log, but a whatever. Or a recording. I know my log. Yeah. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, close to this comet's center. I'm starting to think it more dangerous than we realized. Finally, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we won't lose communication entirely if you get too many deep. Keep the shuttle warm for us, clear you, we'll return the moment we identify the source of energy readings. I understand, but be cautious for the people. It's down this way, right? Did you read all of it? I thought so. Uh, yeah? Oh, okay, sorry, I got confused. Um, so you have to find the path that isn't going to kill you, <laughs> basically. Well, I mean, these all kind of look like they're not going to kill me, but like, um... Be very careful. Which way do I go? Uh, I honestly don't remember which way. Wait, can't you just send your... Oh, oh you can. You can send your thing down. down there. And have it take pictures. That one seems safe. Maybe. Yeah, that one seems safe. Okay, you found it. Uh, switch back to Cosmo just in case, though. Okay, okay. Now, don't go down there, obviously. Uh, go up. I'm pretty sure. Up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a platform. Yeah, yeah, that's where you want to go. But even though the ghost rider is detected nearby, is that's you just have to keep the right path. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, did God you die? Damn it. Did you die? No, you didn't die. You didn't, I, yeah, yeah, you didn't. You didn't die. Okay. Damn it. That sucks. I, I didn't realize it was going to be a fucking toboggan ride. I'm sorry. Like, I knew that there was ice and everything, but I figured I would have traction. I'm, well, I mean, if you use your boost, I think you can maybe control it a little bit. But I'm just using the thing again. Yeah, I'm trying to use my fucking boosters and everything, but the, the boost only <laughs> propels me upward. I mean, it doesn't propel me side to side. True, but you can like give yourself more time by boosting upwards to like try and adjust yourself. Uh, I'm just saying. Um, uh, I guess go ahead and call it. I mean, yeah, it's almost an hour, so. Uh, next time, I guess we try again. Yeah, it is. Of course. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.